Dallas police took a man into custody because drivers said he was throwing rocks off a downtown overpass down onto I-30 traffic. Fox 4's Dion Anglin joining us live with more. Dion. Yeah, police have been questioning a person of interest in this ordeal for much of the day. Now, the folks affected, they say the man stood above uh, the overpass, above them, and his actions could have easily cost them their lives. How big was this rock? It was like about this big. It ain't a little rock. It was a big, heavy piece of... Cynthia Hubbard is thankful to be alive. Take a good look at her windshield. Pummeled by a large rock that came crashing in on the passenger side. Though in shock, she says she quickly managed to get snapshots of the man in a bright orange sweater or vest on the overpass above I-30 in Dallas. Was at first he dropped like a napkin or something down. So I was like, oh, it's some kids up there throwing stuff down. So I was expecting like a soda or something to come falling down, but not a rock. So when the rock hit, it like was impacted so hard. I was like, oh my goodness. Lee Henderson's pickup was hit. He too was in the traffic backup that was creeping along westbound 30 below the I-45 overpass. He had it over his head, the rock over his head, and I pointed at him and said not to do it. <laughs> Obviously, he done it anyway. I saw him throw three and he hit five vehicles. After multiple 911 calls, officers arrived and located a person of interest a short distance away at Haskell and 2nd Avenues. Tyrus Nolan says he was just trying to get to work. Now he's having to work out repairing his pickup. I, I didn't realize they were rocks until I got closer and then all of a sudden, bam, there it was. And then I seen him walking head on a bright orange sweater. A short time later, while at DPD headquarters to talk with investigators, Cynthia Hubbard told me she still can't believe what happened. The same goes for the others who started the day with a close call. I just pray for him. It could have came through the windshield, hit me, killed me, did some damage to me, anything. Now, at this hour, no word of any arrest in the case. Police maintain, though, they will continue looking into what prompted this dangerous rock throwing. So latest live here at DPD headquarters. Steve, back to you. Dion Anglin, downtown Dallas, thank you.